That baby is like three months old. What are you doing? Hello, nerds. Welcome back to another episode of TikTok Cringe. Before we kick today's episode off, I uh, I need your help with something. So Friday, I'm putting out a video. It's kind of like the uh, you laugh, you lose challenge, but with a twist, a painful twist. So I'm gonna be reacting to a series of videos. We gotta make it a challenge, folks. We gotta make it a challenge. I'm tired of seeing these YouTubers do the laugh, you lose challenge, and then they laugh constantly, and there's no consequences. You gotta make it a competition. If you're gonna call it a challenge, you got you better crank the volume. So the game will be if I laugh or even smile three times, that's all it takes, three times, I have to torture myself. So I'm giving you two options. If I laugh or smile three times, I have to do one of these two things. Number one, I have to eat the hottest chip in the world. That's a big thing that's going around on YouTube these days. A lot of people doing the hot chip challenge uh, and it's horrible, it's real bad. The second option, I have to eat five Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans at once. If you don't know what those are, they're the, uh, the jelly beans that are like booger, snot, fecal matter flavored soap. I don't know if you've ever had them, but they're really gross. I'm leaving it in your hands. So, whichever one you want me to do, comment below. Say hot chip or say uh, beans. Just one of the two. Yeah, be sure to tune in Friday and see if I can complete the challenge. And uh, if I don't, you'll get some good er entertainment out of it. Also, before we start, leave a like on this video, real quick. It takes two seconds and it helps me out. That's enough talking, enough talking. It's time to get into the action. <laughs> yeah, we're back under the bridge. Got a whole bunch of motherfuckers up underneath here. Ali. See that Native, guy, Native American guy right there? That's cheap. Ali. You know what? He got his ass fucking handed to him today. You know what? All us fucking guys right here will beat the living piss out of him. <laughs> Sitting under a bridge drinking Natty Light. And if you've touched my boy, my Native American friend, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. All right. If you're homeless, that's not a bad spot to be in. I mean, that kind of looks fun. Sitting under a bridge, got a fire going, you're getting drunk off a of natty light. Hi there, it's uh, Father Tim. Uh, I've been getting a few questions now. Uh, but this one is a bit challenging. It's a, they asked me, they said, Father Tim, do you ever get horny? I say, hey, that's a, that's a tough one because uh, I tell you what, some of the women that I see on TikTok, uh, so the, yeah, just to cut to the chase, yes, all right, I do. Uh, just telling you the, the truth. You know, sometimes I be scrolling through the TikTok and I see the fifteen-year-olds with the booties and doing the renegade dances, and yeah, and you know, sometimes I get horny. You know, I just have to go jack, jack off the Jimmy. I'm so bad at accents. I don't even know why I ever try them. He's religious, but he's honest. This guy might actually make me religious. I don't know. Uh, he's what a great guy. I like his hat. I like his hat. I like his honesty. He's got a great smile, great accent. Anytime you've got an accent like that, it just, you just sound like the nicest guy ever. So I love him. What a great guy. Do you think he's my husband, my boyfriend, or my dad? I don't know, bitch. He's kind of touching your tit. So I'm, I'm assuming it's your fucking cousin. <laughs> Kevin, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, Brad, I'm going up to Chicago. Uh, I'm going to meet some girls at an undisclosed location. <laughs> why, why is he so formal about it? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I'm going up to uh, Chicago to meet some female women. And uh, at an undisclosed location at, at approximately 8.23 p.m. And uh, we're going to meet some ladies engage in uh, sexual intercourse and uh, <laughs> and uh, that's when you know you're lying when you're being that for that formal about it fucking Kevin come on Kevin we know what you're gonna be doing you're gonna be eating bonbons in your fucking lazy boy watching uh, cops how's Linda okay. <laughs> you ever see Linda what how is Linda? <laughs> Those situations are so awkward. 
you know how you're talking to some people and they kind of mumble and you can't really understand what they're saying and you don't you don't care enough to know what they're saying so you're just kind of like <laughs> and just and just hope it's not a question this poor woman got caught red-handed i feel for her it's awkward so now she's like god damn it now i gotta say what 50 times 97 i don't care what you have to say I was just playing bingo for an hour and a half. I'm tired, I'm ready to take a nap. Yo, all my haters out there, keep sucking, I'm about to bust. Oh my God! Why is it always poor ass rednecks that say they have haters? You don't have haters, dude. You just have people that don't like you and want to stay away from you. That's all it is. And honestly, probably you have haters because you eat a cucumber like that. That's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to cut it up, put it in some salad. You're not supposed to eat it like it's a fucking popsicle, you fucking weirdo. What the fuck? That baby's like three months old. What are you doing? Is this swimming lessons? They're giving, first of all, why are you giving a three month old swimming lessons? Why are you yeeting this fucking baby into a pool? Just, yeah, just fully submerge him, fuck it. Get out of here, you stupid ass baby. Learn how to swim, you clumsy ass piece of shit. What baby under the age of two is capable of learning how to swim? There are zero, zero babies. That baby just went like nine feet deep to the bottom of this fucking pool. <laughs> just, what the fuck? That's all I have to say, what the fuck? Do people not have self-awareness anymore? Do they not know how society works? I mean, these are like, what, 12 year old kids? They know what the internet is. The internet has so much information that you should know what is socially acceptable and what isn't. Look at the way you're dressed. Look at the way you look. You have a Justin Bieber haircut in 2020. Who the fuck has that? That haircut is so outdated. You're dressed like that in a nice neighborhood. Quit it. That would be like me walking out in the middle of this street and being like, what's up? See, I can't even, do, I can't even do it ironically. I don't even know how to do that. Put your shirt back on, pull your pants up, and go do some cracker things. Cause you're not cool enough to do that. Of my house, Chase, you are ungrateful. Do you have a hammer or a wrench? Wrench, grateful, Crazy, ungrateful. look at this. Like Broke my door. Crazy, get out. Yeah. If you're putting holes in doors just because your children don't do the dishes, you need psychiatric help. Like, come the fuck on, dude. Come the fuck on, you stupid Karen or Janet. What would she do if they got caught watching porn? Would she hit him in the head with the wrench? She's like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, like, <laughs> you didn't do the dishes. I'm coming in. Fucking weird ass bitch. Kevin, he's back. eating tortilla chips. Yeah. With no salsa. Yeah, it's rough, but I can handle it. Yeah. What? You don't have to do that, Kevin. <laughs> you don't have to eat. You don't have to torture yourself and eat like he's in a big store. I'm sure that store has salsa somewhere. He's just eating dry ass chips, and getting cotton mouth. He's like, Meh. what can you do? You know, <laughs> there's no salsa in this gigantic ass fucking store. He's acting like his boss gave him the bag of chips and was like, hey, Kevin. Eat that whole bag right now or you're fucking fired. Eat it. No salsa. Hi, Tiki Taki people. I'm at the Texas barbecue and uh, we signed up and uh, they're delivering the food to my car in a minute. How cool is that? Barbecue. Yes. Wow. Bing. <laughs> <coughs> Bing. Why are her glasses so fucking big? Get some new glasses and make your face look more proportional. Holy shit, you look like a fucking bug. Hello? 
Do you not see what your face looks like when you look in the mirror? You look like you have two transparent plates on your fucking eyeballs. Why? I wish I had that ability to just be that happy and excited about something so trivial. Like she's this happy about fucking curbside pickup. I think it's a skill to appreciate life that much to the point where you are that excited about small things like that. I think that's something that only old people can attain. They're always the ones that are making videos like this and being this happy about something so small. It's a skill. This lady has developed a skill that I wish I could have. I wish she was my third grandma. I wish I had a third grandma and I wish she was number three. You can't hang with the big boys coming through with the big toys. Why? That's it? This guy rules. Wow. He doesn't even need music. He is the music. He is the rhythm. You can't hang with the big boys coming around here with the big toys. I don't need fucking music. I know the beat. I got a built in metronome in my fucking skull. Mm. Coming around here with my big toy. Coming around here with my big toys. Nice. Cameron, did you go pee your Colleen, did you go Colleen? Did you Don't pay, throw that did at you me. pay your rent, Colleen? <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm good. He peed his pants. Also, why is he acting like he's on a ship that's sinking? He's like, ah, hang on. Fuck. That's when you know you're drunk. You have the spins so badly that you feel like you're on a ship that's sinking. Ah. Help! Somebody get the life raft! Colleen! Fuck! Did you pay your rent? Did you you should have paid rent! Fuck! You should have paid rent! I wouldn't have put us on this ship! I can't grab anything! Colleen! What a weird third wheel that guy is. I'm gonna stand directly behind you while you guys slow dance. I'm gonna wear fucking heels too. I will sit here until you guys stop. You shouldn't be doing this when I'm alone, all right? My boyfriend, Richard, is just down the street. Wait to slow dance until Richard gets here. Enough! I don't know exactly what was going on there. And I think that's the beauty of that uh, video. Sometimes in life, you just don't know what's going on. And uh, it's best to just ride it out, you know? Just go with the flow. Enjoy it for what it is. Bing! I think that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up right now. It takes two seconds. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. Can't wait for next Tuesday. And also, be sure to vote. Do you want me to eat hot chips? Or do you want me to eat five birdie butts, every flavor beans at once? I'm out. Peace.